What is up dudes and dudettes of the internet? Welcome to this video. Thank you for watching this video. It's been a while. I know for those of you newcomers, man, I haven't made a video in months and months and months and months and months, but I really miss making videos. And so I'm back again, uh, back with a lot more knowledge. And uh, well, we'll see. Um, at least for now, I'm going to make this video, I'm going to release it, and we'll see how it goes, if you guys like it or not. Uh, Alright, so, this video is actually about how to terminate network cable. Now, what is network cable, you're asking? Well, network cable is actually very common, and I'm more than sure that you've touched it um, if you like playing with computers and stuff. And it's actually this cable right here, which you probably refer to as the internet cable, or the ethernet cable, or something. They actually have RJ45 jacks right here. And, yeah, this is what you would connect from your router or your modem into your computer. And that's all it is. And it basically transfers the internet, the data, from your router to your computer or to your PlayStation console or whatever. So, that's what we're going to make today. We're not going to get this standard stuff. Let's throw that out the window. Okay, we're actually going to go ahead and make it from scratch. Right here. Boom. So this is Cat 5e cable, and I'll go through right now exactly all the things you'll need. Um, and it, it's it's kind of a cool skill to have in case your cable goes out or something, or or it gets messed up, the cables inside are broken, or whatever happens, you can make your own. Or if you want to like make your own network in your house, now you'll know how to make networking cable. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'll show you the things that you'll need. I'm really excited for this video. I hope you are too. All right, so item number one, what we need, and it's super, super essential because this is the cable itself, the network cable. Now, right here, I have unshielded twisted pair cable, category 5E. Uh, there's four pairs of cables inside this one little cable here. So, boom, here we go. This is what we need. Uh, 500 feet is what I bought. And this is actually kind of cheap um, if you think about it. This right here only cost me like 30 bucks on Amazon, so not bad. 500 feet of this stuff, you can network your whole house with this. I mean, if you're if you know what you're doing and if you use the uh, links wisely and stuff so anyways here we go this is the first item we need unshielded twisted pair cable cat 5e networking cable okay the second thing we need it's super important is the rj45 connectors boom right there that's this is what our network cable is actually going to be plugged into um kind of cool yep i mean you can't really plug in network cable without this guy right so it just looks like a really big phone jack connector so here we go we need one more item after this the third and essential item you need is your crimp tool. This thing does so many things. It cuts the cable for us. It'll strip wires. It'll actually crimp uh, the cable onto the connectors. Kind of cool. Uh, yeah, this thing goes for, what, like 30 bucks on Amazon. It's actually on sale when I bought it for, like, 16, 17 bucks. So pretty cool. The last thing I'm going to use, and this is actually optional because your crimp tool will come with this capability, but I have a like wire cutter tool right here. Just something to cut the cable so it's really easy. Uh, I don't know. I just would rather cut the cable with this instead of the crimp tool. So not necessary, but uh, very sharp, and I like using it. So here's a shot of just everything that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the cable itself, uh, the connectors, the crimp tool, and just some basic like wire cutters or just like a cutting tool uh, to cut the cable right here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is simply just grab a piece of the network cable. Just pull a little piece out. I mean, this is just for demonstration purposes, so uh, it's not going to be too long here, but just grab it and cut the cable. Make a nice clean cut. And there we go. That's super simple. So I got a short piece of cable now, and now I can move this big box out of the way. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is grab our crimp tool and actually make a... We, we need to strip the cable, okay? Very easy. So to strip it, all we need to do is put our cable in this like little pocket that the crimp tool has. Um, the most important thing here is it doesn't matter how you strip the cable. If you have uh, wire strippers or whatever, you just don't want to make cuts on the wires themselves because that can cause bad connections. Um, the cool thing about the, the crimp tool is that it's actually... Uh, by default, it's the right size, okay? So we don't cut the cable. It's just the outer shelling, this plastic shell. So just go ahead and put a nice size of that cable in there. We're just going to spin it, and we can let go. And you might not be able to see it in the video, but we have a really nice, really clean cut around this cable right around here. And what's really cool is you can actually get your thumb like this. Okay, so pinch it with your thumb. Put your other thumb on top, and you're going to push this way. So push, just like that, and it'll actually create really cool force to, I mean, basically you just want to rip that off, okay? I mean, but that's that's how you do it. Um, that's how I was taught by a professional. So anyway, 
That was the easiest way that he said he found out to do it. In here, you'll find a few different things. You'll find eight different wires. Really cool. Okay, and there, there are four different colors, which is what we want to untwist. Remember, these are the unshielded, twisted pair. Okay, so there are the four colors. And you also find like a clear piece here. I personally don't use this, but what you can do with it is that you can actually pull it and it'll cut this plastic casing, okay? But actually what I like to do is I like to just cut this little piece off. So let me grab my cutters and cut that off. It honestly does not matter how you do this, but me personally, I just think that clear stuff is really annoying. So I'm just gonna cut it off just like that. Okay, so now we have our four colors and all we need to do is untwist them. Now the cool thing is, at this point, all we have to do is put them in the correct color order, the order of color, and then we just kind of shove it into one of these connectors. Really cool. And we're pretty much finished after we crimp it. So the tricky part and the longest part is getting these in order because these little cables like to swap around on you and they, and they sometimes make it difficult. So we'll see what happens here. We're actually going to put them in the order of the standard these days, which is TIA 568 B, and we actually need it in white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, and white, brown, brown, and that'll make more sense in a bit. So as you can see, we have a white, a white um, color of each one. So we have orange, then we have white, orange, we have blue, white, blue, brown, white, brown, green, white, green. Okay. So again, we need it in white, orange, orange. So let's grab white, orange, orange. Okay. So now we have these in order here. You don't have to make it more difficult than what it is. You're just putting it in order. So white, orange, orange, and then we need uh, white, green, blue. So let's grab white, green there. And I'm all I'm doing is I'm kind of like shaping it this way. They'll they'll kind of um, I guess listen to what I want them to do. I don't know if that's the right wording. But basically, I'm just kind of bending them back and forth just a little bit. You don't want to break the cables, the wires, but just bending a little bit. That way, it stay in order, kind of. So we have white, orange, orange, white, green, blue. Then we need white, blue, green. So let me bend these a little bit. Green. Just so they cooperate. You don't, you don't want to do it like crazy. You just want to make sure that they're going to stay in the right order because they really do like to like to switch around on you. Okay, and then right, brown, brown. Now, typically, you don't want to untwist too much of this cable. So you don't want to go like way down to here and have it all untwisted and then do it. No, 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 no. You just want enough of what you need, okay? Basically, a good way to, to test this is to look at your connector and look to where you're going to put the cable into. See this piece right here? It's actually going to clamp down on the cable. Okay, right here. It's going to clamp down on the cable. So you want the cable to be about right here and the wires going to the edge of the connector. Okay, and that'll make more sense in a bit probably. So let me just finish this here and I'll show you. And then we need white, brown, brown. So let me just finish this and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm back. Now we can see that I have it in white, orange, orange. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And now what we need to do is grab our crimp tool and make a straight cut. We don't want to make it a diagonal cut. We want to make it straight, okay? So here we go. On our crimp tool, we actually have two sides, okay? We have a side with two blades, which is to help you uh, strip the cable. And we have the side with just one blade, which is going to make a full-on cut. Okay, so let's go ahead and just insert in our cables here and we'll make a straight cut just like that okay easy now, I might have cut this a little short but we'll see it's kind of <laughs> different when you're making this for a video but anyways you're just gonna go ahead and insert this the cables in there we go okay so they slid in nice nice and smooth okay and basically what you want to do is make sure you, you want to check it at this point, okay? Because it's really, really, really important that each of these little wires are going to the end of the connector because these gold contacts, when we crimp it, are going to get 
push down into the wires and they're actually going to dig into the wires and that's what we want for a good connection. So we want to check a few things. One, are the wires going all the way to the end? And two, is this uh, the, the plastic shielding part of it, is it going past the actual crimp part? Because that's where it's going to bite down so the cable can't get pulled out. Right now we can pull out this cable really easy because we haven't crimped it. So that's what we want to check. We want to make sure that all these little wires are at the edge. And it's hard to see in the video. Let me check to make sure for myself. Yep, all wires are at the edge, and I know they're all past the gold contacts. It's going to make good connectivity when I crimp this down. So the last step is to grab our crimp tool, insert this into there. Okay, so now it's in. And we're going to go ahead and crimp it. And we're going to do it a couple times here. Nope, oh, my crimp tool just got a little bit stuck. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to crimp it, just like that. Cool. There it is. This is one side that is finished on our network cable. And you just do the same thing to the other side, and you'd have a complete, perfect network cable ready to be used in your router, uh, to your computer, or whatever you'd like. And you can make them custom lengths, which is really cool.